Well, in addition to the bittersweet vine really coming into its own this time of year, we also have some beautiful fall color out at the OBGA headquarters gardens. And I wanted to show you a few things just because it looks so pretty this time of year. Now, one of the things that is just looking gorgeous is our Euonymus alata or winged Euonymus. Um, you can also tell right now why it has one of its other common names, which is burning bush. This is an absolutely brilliant fall coloring shrub and it is one of the first things that we see to start to color up for us. Well, part of the things that I wanted to show you are some of the things that we've talked about earlier in the year, and one of those was another Euonymus, the Euonymus spongianus. And you might recall that was one of the trees that I talked about that is actually drought resistant. And right now, the berries on it are opening up and showing you another one of the attractions of that plant. And you can see that they are a bright red inside with the kind of pale pink on the outside and once the leaves fall off of this tree it will be very pretty for us even going into the winter. Now another tree that we talked about earlier is the Chinese pistache and here I wanted to show you two things on this tree and one is that it has really neat fruit. Uh, I pointed the fruit out to you earlier I wanted to show you what it looks like when it starts to ripen. It is almost a robin's egg blue. And they really do, they look like tiny robin's eggs stuck on the red panicles here. And they are really very pretty this time of year. Now this doesn't stay on the tree very long because it's also a very good food for birds. And birds will come in and actually eat all of these fruits in the matter of a day. But while they are on the tree, they are very pretty. Now, this Chinese pistache actually hasn't started to change color yet. However, we do have a few that are. Well, as we're looking at all this wonderful fall color, I did want to take a minute to kind of talk about what exactly makes the trees change color. Now, a lot of people think that it's the freeze that actually triggers that, but it's not. It's actually the shortening of the days. Now, the pigments that are in the leaves that are responsible for our yellow and orange colors in the leaves are actually present all summer long. However, there's so much chlorophyll in the leaf, which is the green pigment, that it masks the yellow and the orange colors. Now, xanthophyll is actually the pigment that's responsible for the yellow color, and carotene, or the same pigment that's present in carrots, is responsible for the orange color. Now another one of our fall colors is the brilliant red color, which is actually a result of the pigment anthocyanin. And the anthocyanins actually develop as the temperatures start to cool. So what can really promote some nice fall color are some warmer days and cooler nights that are above freezing and we'll actually have a really nice fall. And that is exactly what we've been having right now. Even though we had a hard summer, which can sometimes shorten our fall color, we're having a nice long fall. We haven't had a frost yet, so we're getting some pretty color on our trees. Now another tree that is absolutely outstanding that's just right back here is our Caddo sugar maple. And sugar maples are actually famous for their beautiful color. That's a lot of what you see back in New England. But in Oklahoma, it can be very hard or even impossible to grow a sugar maple that looks pretty because they are so susceptible to our hot summer winds. However, the Caddo sugar maple, which is actually tolerant of our hot, dry winds. And this sh Caddo sugar maple is really looking pretty right now, not only on the tree, but also once the leaves fall, they also make a very, very pretty pattern on the ground. Now, as I'm talking about leaves falling, that means we're going to be having to dispose of those leaves fairly soon, and we're going to go take a look at some methods to do that.